Hi friends, I come all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Virtual Techo Time for One. In this tutorial, I am going to publish a new custom ROM for your Samsung SM T285 ID tablet. You can see here I have successfully installed this uh, custom ROM on my tablet, which was created by me. And almost every functions of this custom ROM is working superbly perfect. There are no issues, bugs, or errors on this custom ROM. is completely working as the original device of your samsung here you can see my notification bar i can turn on flashlight and i can uh, turn on my camera too when it comes to settings uh, i have added some functions because this is a tablet phone so i have modified this uh, system uh, setting app and other applications to work as a tablet device you can see uh, i have tablet functions on uh, my settings uh, when it comes to here, you can see my device is Galaxy J Max device, which model numbered uh, SMT 285 ID. And uh, when it comes to CPU set, uh, I can show you the original system specifications of my device, which was the uh, same as your uh, system. It comes as an Android 5.1 uh, system. And uh, I have tried so many custom ROMs to port for this device, but uh, failed because uh, this boot image of the device doesn't let me to easily port for Android 7.1 or 6.1 uh, however I have uh, get the success of porting this original ROM when it comes to here you may have a small problem why even if the original ROM I am saying this is a custom ROM because I have added so many modifications into the internal part of this custom ROM when it comes to here you can see my root directory if I click at the system and framework folder you can see I have successfully diode exit this ROM and also uh, you can see here there are no uh, .so files or .odex files on the ROM when it comes to application also I have removed all the .odex files which allowing you to install exposite framework and do any modification for this device and other than that I have replaced the original launch of this phone from uh, with using the Nova launcher you can see it's a very beautiful launcher and you can download this custom ROM file as a backup from the given links in the description of this video However, you need to uh, restore this custom ROM into your device with the data version because there are some applications like Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, which doesn't let me to install into the uh, system version. If I install them in the system version, uh, it will be a problem because they, those apps won't go into uh, boot. I can fix that problem too by installing the older versions, but I'm not recommending them. That's why I'm going to publish this custom ROM as it is with the data version. So let's continue to our video and see how we can install this custom ROM on your Samsung SM 285ID tablet and uh, work with this custom ROM. Okay guys, before going to the installation process of this custom ROM on your phone, you need to get a complete backup of everything that included in your phone, even in the messages, call logs and everything included in your system data partition and also in the internal memory because there are some custom ROMs doesn't let you to power on your device without formatting the internal uh, memory of your device but this custom ROM is completely a same custom ROM which already installed on your device so I believe you don't need to format your internal memory but in case you need to take a full backup of your internal memory too so this is a very awesome custom ROM because this Samsung Galaxy J Max device doesn't come as a tablet device it comes as a tablet phone if you have opened any application on this device you can't see this device as a tablet because it's working like a phone so if I open this any application right now with this custom ROM you can see these applications are working like a tablet you can see it right now first of all you need to install custom recovery on your device so you can refer to the video that I have included in the description of this video to install a custom recovery on your device I'm not going to guide you to the installation process of a custom recovery uh, in this tutorial because I have already created a tutorial for that okay friends let's see put our device into custom recovery for install this custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy J Max device okay friends right now I'm going to boot my device into my custom recovery Guys, I have forgotten something to tell you. Before uh, booting your device into this recovery mode, you need to download the ROM zip file from the given link in the description of this video and uh, extract it into the uh, TWRP backup folder. Because you can't install this custom ROM on your device as a uh, installation file, you need to restore it on your device. Because I have added some applications into your data version also. Uh, so due to that, you need to restore uh, those files into the data version. 
So that's why I have published this ROM as a restorable custom ROM. Okay guys, now you need to uh, click on the wipe option. Go to advanced wipe option. Here you need to select dial with cage, system, data and cage partitions. Don't select internal memory. So here you can see I have selected these partitions and I'm going to wipe them. Now press back button again and uh, go to uh, backup restore option. Click on restore and uh, click on this uh, custom uh, ROM file. Here you need to enter my backup uh, encryption password. Uh, click on this icon to restore the backup. Then you need to wait until the completing of this process. Okay friends, here we have successfully restored our ROM which means we have successfully installed this custom ROM on our Samsung Galaxy J Max device. So right now you can reboot your device. Here you need to wait until uh, completing of this process. Okay friends, here you can see we have successfully flashed this awesome custom ROM on our Samsung Galaxy J Max device. You can see almost all the features that I have described already is working fine. Even uh, your explicit framework is working perfectly. You can see you can enable uh, any exposit module. So with this I am going to wind up this video. Thank you all for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Turn on notification and join with me.